On the far left, you can see the overall distribution of concrete compressive strength. And then the violins on the right, yeah, that's the overall one. The violins on the right, you can see the distribution of concrete compressive strength under different conditions. And so for each condition, you've got like some, some, some like range or some category that it's part of. Here we've got the ash to cement ratio needs to fall within particular bounds. The aggregate cement ratio, the same. Likewise, the age. What we can see that's really interesting on the far right, you'll notice that combining these conditions, so like there's a combinatorial effect here. There's some synergistic effect here that is way more powerful when you take all of these conditions together than when you look at each one individually. So correlation could, could, could give you these. You might see like, oh, well, you know, um, I see that concrete compressive strength is positively correlated with age, which is true because concrete tends to get stronger as it cures. Or you could be like, oh, ah, right. you know, I see that it's, you know, negatively correlated with the ash to cement ratio. What's really hard to find as a human is this combination of patterns, like this combination of conditions that when you put them all together in aggregate, Look at that. You increased your concrete compressive strength on average by 53 um, compared to the overall mean, which is 35. 35. Not so shabby.